With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, this is the question. Let's start the question. The question says that in the given figures, if PQRS is a parallelogram and AB is parallel to PS, then prove that OC is parallel to SR. So, what we have to prove here, OC, OC is parallel to SR. We have to prove this when it is given that PQRS is a parallelogram and AB is parallel to PS. So, first of all, what we have to prove, it is to prove is OC parallel to SR. So, we will start with in triangle, in triangle OPS and OAB, OPS and triangle OAB, what we can see is, we know that PS is parallel to AB. It is given that P AB is parallel to PS. It is given AB is parallel to PS. And we know that angle POS and angle AOB, angle POS can be written equal to angle AOB because it is common angle common angle and then we can write angle P O S P is equal to O B A angle O S P is equal to angle O B A angle O B A as they are corresponding angles corresponding how we are saying corresponding angles because we know that they are parallel. So we can see that this angle is equal to this angle and we can write angle SPO or OPS. We can write angle OPS is equal to angle OAB. OAB. This is also because again it is due to corresponding angles because the two lines are parallel. So we can say therefore Therefore, triangle OPS is similar to triangle OAB by AAA criteria, angle, angle, angle criteria, PS by AB, PS by AB can be written as equal to OS by OB, OS by OB, this can be written and this will Put number 1. So, now we got this. Now, if we take triangle, if we are taking triangle CAB and triangle CQR, in triangle, we can take here, in triangle CQR and CAB, triangle CQR and Triangle CAB, if we take two triangles, then we are seeing that angle ACB and angle QCR is common. We are seeing that, first of all, what we know from here, AB is parallel to PS and we know that PS is parallel to QR because it is given that PQRS is a parallelogram and it is given in the question that this is a parallelogram. So, we can say PS is parallel to QR and PS is parallel to AB. So, we can say AB is parallel to QR. So, we will write here in this AB is parallel to, we can write AB is parallel to PS which is parallel to QR. AB is parallel to PS which is parallel to QR. So, from this we get to know that QR and AB are parallel. So, angle C is common in both. Angle CRQ and angle CBA is equal due to corresponding angles. And angle CQR and CAB are equal due to corresponding angles. So, we can write that. Therefore, angle, we can write QCR. QCR is equal to angle ACB because it is common angles common angle, then we can write angle, we can write here angle CRQ, CRQ is equal to angle CBA, angle CBA, 
because this is corresponding angles as they are parallel and then after this we can write angle CQR is equal to angle CAB angle CQR is equal to angle CAB again due to corresponding angles and so we can write here that therefore triangle CQR is similar to triangle CAB by AAA criteria. So here we can write, so here what we can write, we can write that QR by AB, we can write QR by AB is equal to CR by CB, we can write here QR by AB is equal to CR by CB or we can write instead of QR, PS, we can write PS by AB is equal to Q CR by CB. How we are writing this? Because we know that in, in a parallelogram, we know that PQRS is a parallelogram and PS is equal to QR, we know this. So that's why we replace QR with PS. So now, so therefore, this we can number as 2. So we will say that this is 1 and this is 2. So from 1 and 2, we will take from 1 and 2, we will get here that CR by CB, because PS by AB we got equal to OS by OB. So we will write here OS by OB is equal to CR by CB. Or if we, if we reciprocate this, we will get OB by OS is equal to CB by CR. Now, if we subtract 1 on both the sides, therefore, subtracting 1, we'll write subtracting on both the sides, both the sides, then we'll get it as OB by OS minus 1. So, instead of 1, we'll write here 1 first. In the first step, we can do step in a step manner. We'll write this as OB by OS minus OS by OS is equal to CB minus CR by CR because this comes out to be CR by CR. So this is OB minus OS. What will be OB minus OS? OB is this minus OS. What is left is SB or BS we can say. We'll write here BS. BS by OS is equal to CB minus CR. What is CB minus CR? Here we, we are seeing CB and this is CR. So CB minus CR will be BR. This is BR by CR. So now we have BS by OS and BR by CR. BS, BS by OS and BR by CR. So we can say that by converse of basic proportionality theorem, by converse of Basic proportionality theorem Basic proportionality theorem What does basic proportionality theorem tells us? That if a line, a line that divides two sides of the triangles in equal ratio then the line is parallel to the third side so basically in a triangle if we draw a line for example if we take the triangle OB OBC and we are seeing SR is a line drawn which divides the triangle OBS, OBC. In the triangle OBC, if we are seeing that SR is dividing the side OB and OC into equal, two equal ratios, then line SR is parallel to line OC. So by, base, by converse of basic proportionality theorem, we can say that therefore, we can say here as BS by OS is equal to BR by CR, we can say SR is parallel to OC or OC is parallel to SR. So, we prove what was asked to us in the question. So, we can write hence proved. Therefore, hence proved. I hope you understood this explanation. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.